Hello, everyone, and welcome to this series of tutorials on Cilia Q. Before I get to the point of explaining how to work with Cilia Q, I would like to give you a background on what programs we are going to use and how they work. So for working with Cilia Q, you need to use Fiji, but Fiji itself is a version of ImageJ. ImageJ is an open source image processing program, which was developed for analyzing multidimensional scientific images. ImageJ was designed with an open architecture that provides extensibility via plugins and adding that it is freely available, ImageJ has gained a large community of developers and users. The program that we are going to use, Fiji, is an advanced version of ImageJ with additional plugins. These plugins are software components that add additional commonly needed features to the basic computer program. CDQ is a package of open source plugins that have been developed by Wachten Lab and that allow to specifically analyze and understand CDIA. These ImageJ plugins are freely available and easy to use. So you don't need to have any coding knowledge to analyze images with CDQ. The CDQ package consists of three-step workflow based on three ImageJ plugins. First, we will have CDQ Preparator, which prepares the images for segmentation and segments the images into CDIA and background. Then we will have CDQ Editor, which allow manual corrections for the segmentation. And then we will work with Cilia Q, which reconstructs the cilia, quantifies them, and visualize the results. It is also good to know that Cilia Q Preparator and Cilia Q are fully automated. So they would run without any user interaction and allow batch processing of large image data sets. With CDQ, you can learn many aspects about the cilium you are studying, such as length, orientation, bending, protein level, localization, and as well as protein amount and enrichment. So now that we are all in the same page and have a little knowledge on what we are going to deal with, we can start downloading and installing everything. But if you already have Cilia Q and Fiji installed, so you can skip this part of the tutorial and go to the next one. But if you don't, you can tag along and we will get into it together. But before we get to downloading things, I want to mention that we have prepared files with all the links and all the details that you will go into use. Uh, and you can find those files in the description in our channel or in our GitHub. Now, you can download Fiji by typing Fiji Downloads on your browser, and the first link will direct you to this page. So based on your system that you are going to use, you can download the best uh, version that is proper for you. Since I'm a Mac user, I will just download this one. So if you are a Windows user, you will have a zip file. And by unzipping that file, you can find uh, image J in the file that has been unzipped. And if you are a Mac user, it is even easier and more straightforward. You you just click on the zip file that you got, and then it will be unzipped. You can drag and drop Fiji wherever you want. It is important to remember that when you have downloaded your Fiji, you can just paste it anywhere except for your application folder. You also need to download the plugins for Cilia Q. So if you type GitHub Hansen JN on your browser, you will be directed to this page. And after clicking on Celia Q, you can find all the details and all the information about Celia Q. And also you can download all the plugins that we need. So by clicking on each of these links, you will be directed to a page 
for that plugin. And after clicking on this file, you can be able to download the plugin. So please go ahead, download all these three plugins. And also you need to download two more plugins you can find the link in the same file that I told you before. And when you click on the link, you will be directed to this page and you need to download these two extra plugins in order to be able to work with Celia Q. So please go ahead and also download these two plugins. And now that we have all the plugins that we need, we can now install them. Okay, so easily open your Fiji. And for installing all the plugins, you just need to drag and drop each of the plugins into Fiji. And then this dialog will pop up and you will just easily say save. You will have this uh, dialog, which is telling you to restart your Fiji, but we can restart it at the end when we have installed all the plugins. So go ahead and drag and drop all the plugins into your Fiji. Okay. And now that all of them are dragged and dropped in there, restarting your Fiji means to close and open it again. Okay, now that we restarted our Fiji, if we go to plugins icon up here, you can see Celia Q and you can see the three plugins that are in this plugin package. So I think now everyone is in the same page and we have an idea about what we are going to deal with. And also we have everything that we are going to use in future, including our Celia Q package, our Fiji and the extra plugins that we need to use. So in the next tutorial, I will tell you how to work with Celia Q Preparator, which is the first step. And then I'm going to tell you how to use the best number for thresholds and how to deal with CDIQ Preparator. See you in the next tutorial.